My goodness. We have got bad lighting today. Is this, does this make it a little bit better? I can't tell. I think the lighting is a little bit better this direction. All right. Changing it up a bit, keeping it fresh. All right. Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and today is First Impression Fridays, and I am doing a product that I am so excited about. I have been waiting to get my phalanges on this product for a really long time. I saw this product on Instagram literally about two months ago, so let me just tell you what it is. It is the new cocoa powder foundation from Too Faced. So basically it is a foundation which the base derivative ingredients is chocolate. Chocolate foundation for your face. <laughs> How exciting does that sound? If you guys remember, I think it came out last year, the chocolate bar, what was that called? Chocolate factory, Willy Wonka kind of eyeshadow palette that Too Faced came out with where the eyeshadows and highlighters were cocoa powder based. That is still hands down one of my all time favorite eyeshadow palettes. When you apply it, it's like you're smelling chocolate. So like I said, I saw it on Instagram months ago. It hadn't been released yet. It was kind of like a promo leak, I think. And then it released on the actual Too Faced website. But I don't know about you guys, I'm not too comfortable with picking out foundation shades online, never having swatched or tested the product in store. So I've been waiting and waiting until some store would get it in stock. And right now it is a Sephora exclusive. So I'm not sure if Ulta and other places will eventually carry it in store, but right now Sephora is the only place that you can get it in store. I have two boxes because I bought two different shades. I struggle with foundation shades all the time. I don't know about you other pale girls. Do y'all have this problem? I bought the lightest shade, which is fair, but once again, I don't know if this is just a problem with me, with my brain, or if other pale girls can feel these feelings with me. Sometimes whenever I buy the lightest shade of foundation, I feel like, yeah, it probably matches my skin the best, but I've got, I've been doing a new facial res re regimen, so I don't have that many face demons and pimples and stuff like I used to, at least right now, knock on wood, to cover up. But usually I don't feel like I get enough coverage with the lightest shade. Like most of the time, I just feel like I'm wiping a bunch of nothing on my face. I bought the lightest shade anyway because I wanted to give it a shot and there you have it. It literally looks like the most lightest porcelain shade. And then the other shade that I bought that my heart really, really was passionate about was the shade Golden Light. And this is actually the third darkest shade. And uh, I love anything that promises me like a golden radiant type of glow. I just want to look like I descended from like the sun. <sighs> This is a matte foundation. They don't even offer it in any other kind of, I mean, in some ways that seems logical because it's a powder, so powders would probably be matte. But the foundation I've been using now for months by It Cosmetics is a powder foundation, but it provides you with more of a dewy, silky kind of finish, so it can be done. But all of these foundations are matte shades. So I kind of thought to avoid looking too pancakey that maybe this one with kind of golden sparkly kind of flex in it might kind of counteract some of the really chalky matte kind of finish that some powder foundations can cause. Honestly, just uh, maybe I'm just a psychopath. <laughs> That's probably it. Um, I mean, I guess there is kind of quite a difference between the two shades, you guys tell me. It's kind of an expensive type product. They are $34 a piece. I'm gonna try and do half and half on my face right now and you guys tell me which one you think looks better. I might take one back. I might use one as like an all over and then one to kind of do like a little bit of deeper tones and contouring. You just, you never know. 
what I'm gonna do. Let me wipe all the excess grease off my face, first of all, because I just, oh, I did, I did get a face demon. Are you seeing this? I swear, like I hate it when I get like ones in the eye area. I feel like that is the worst. Anybody agree with me? Hands up, hands up, do you agree? Totally gross. I'm gonna start out with the fair side. Who's the fairest one of all? Uh, and I'm going to apply this with my little Sigma flat kabuki brush. And I'm just gonna apply it in nice swirling motions like so. Oh, it smells so chocolatey. All right, well, that's half my face done. And uh, honestly, Right off the bat, I'm feeling the same frustrations I normally feel with the lightest shade, especially of a powder foundation. I'm not sure if I said this before, but it is supposed to be medium to full coverage foundation. And with this shade, I'm really not feeling the full coverage. You can definitely still see like freckles and some acne scarring, some redness. Just kind of looking from far away, I think that you can see at least like some coverage. Like it does look like I have a little bit of makeup on my face on this side. Let's see if I like the results any better with the darker shade in golden light. And for that, I'm just gonna be using my round Kabuki brush by Sigma. So pretty much the same thing. I'm going to once again, just dust this puppy on in circular motions. There is the other color and I'm going to walk you guys outside with me really quick so we can kind of maybe get a fair guesstimate of the colors. Honestly, I don't want to jump to a hasty conclusion, but I didn't really notice that much better of a coverage with the golden light shade, the slightly darker shade either. I feel like you can still kind of see these angry, red face demons and like the red kind of scarring from past blemishes that I've had. Uh, but let's just walk on outside really quick and see how we feel about it in the natural sunlight. It's really partly cloudy and kind of rainy and disgusting today. So proper lighting is hard to come by. When I look inside in the mirror, I can't even really tell that I've got two different colors of foundation on which is almost kind of alarming a little bit, a little bit alarming. What do we feel about the coverage outside? Any, any different feelings out here? I feel like we can still see all the grossness still happening on my face. Just, do you agree with that? My face looks gross. Super fair. Golden light or whatever that one was called. Both of the faces at once. At this point, I'm not too crazy with either of the colors. Surprisingly, I kind of want to cry. I've waited so long to put this on my face. It smells nice, but I just, I don't, it's not doing much for me. Once again, I'm gonna try and reserve final opinions. I feel like I do like the golden light shade more than the fair. I really don't feel like the fair is doing anything for me whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe off the half of my face that I did fair on and do my whole face in golden light. I'm gonna run out, run some errands. I'm going thrifting today. Uh, so I will check in with you guys later. I'm probably gonna put on my full face of makeup. So I will try and check in with you guys a couple times and I'm gonna like try and not touch up my makeup and, or at least the foundation uh, and just kind of see what kind of wearability we get out of this and I will catch you guys later. So now I'm just checking back in with you. I just got done thrifting. I went to two different thrift stores so I've kind of been out and about for several hours now and uh, this is what the foundation still looks like. I actually even think we're in a little bit better lighting conditions now. What do we think? Do we think that the color matches? I obviously still have not had the chance to put on any of my other makeup. I think that you can still see a lot of the freckles, blemishes, uh, this nasty little friend that we've got going on right here. My skin feels very smooth um, and I'm not really noticing any spots that are heavily oily or more oily than normal so there we go that's my little check-in for now ah, I'll see you guys later bye
This is my last check-in for the day, and I think I've had this foundation on probably at least six to eight hours today now, and I have to say, I, I did I say I got distracted with other lifely things? So I didn't end up putting on a bunch of other eyeshadow and blush and stuff like that, but I don't really think that that makes that much of a difference when I'm trying to think about foundation anyway. Overall, I'm kind of on the fence about the performance of this foundation, really. It's not as bad as I thought it was. I just don't think I personally would call it a medium to full coverage foundation. I would call it a light to medium coverage foundation because, as I've pointed out, 800 times today. I mean, this one is just, this is a lost cause. Um, but still just kind of like the other older things on my face, you can still see them through the foundation. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the fact that I'm not too shiny or greasy looking. This is with absolutely zero touch-ups all day. I really did not like the fair one. That much I can tell you. I felt like zero coverage was happening then. I feel like I do get a little coverage now, just maybe not as much as I'd like, but I do love other aspects about it. It's a good light coverage foundation. I'll say that. Uh, and it smells quite delicious. That is it for this week's First Impression Friday. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know uh, what you guys would like for me to test out next week. I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes. As always, I'm interested in hearing you guys' thoughts and opinions. Have you guys tried this yet? Do you want to try it? Are you gonna try it? If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram. I didn't do the fingers, so I forgot. <laughs> uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!